All these Disney princesses have perfect looking skin, so of course I'm bringing out the big guns and picking out a full coverage foundation and blending that out with a damp sponge. To help color correct, I'm taking a full coverage concealer and placing it underneath the eyes and where I have any blemishes. I wish I could have whoever does the Disney princess's eyebrows. I mean, they are perfect and they are all the way filled in. So definitely don't hold back in filling in a nice rich brown just like Belle has. Belle definitely has the most fun color, I think, eyeshadow look, and I did not stray away from this gold, just an ultra shimmery gold you can't go wrong with, and just kind of go crazy with it on the eyelids. Do not hold back. Here I'm taking now a warm brown, which is just next to that gold, which makes it nice and easy, and I'm going to put this in the crease to blend out that gold shade. Now I'm taking a deeper tone shimmery brown color just to start smoking out the look a little more. So we've used a gold, a medium brown, and then a darker brown all together. Those are so complementary, and I'm just kind of putting it in this V shape to give it a smokier look and I'm going to carry it underneath the eye as well. Now we're going to define our eyes and I'm using a very chocolatey brown eyeliner, one of my favorites, and I'm going to place it underneath the eye. It's okay if it looks a little messy at first, that's what blending is for, and I'm just tracing the upper lash line with that to define my eyes up there, and brown goes really beautifully next to the gold. So what I'm going to do is actually just buff this out so it gives a smokier effect. That's a really great trick to kind of give a little bit more depth to your eyes. To clean this up a bit, I am taking a liquid liner that is in a jet black. We want our eyes to look very defined like this Disney princess, so I'm just going to line my eyes and take my time here. Off camera, I went ahead and applied lots of mascara and a pair of voluminous lashes, and then now I'm taking a very true pink blush to add to the apples of my cheeks. Okay, okay, this is my favorite part, a pink lip. Like, this Disney princess has got it going on. I just, I love that they put her in a pink lip. So I chose a very glossy, shiny, beautiful pink lip to tie the look together. So for the hair, I was dreading at first, but I found a way to make this easy peasy. So cut the hair in half, and I'm going to tie it in a large bun by spiraling it around itself, and then just going to tie it with the hair tie and I'm going to give it a good squeeze to make it even more voluminous, kind of like hers. Here I'm going to back home some front pieces that I purposely put out because I want that to be really teased and volumized so that it accentuates the front of the hairstyle, which is very big. So even if you could pull out more hair than that, it would look even better, I think. But I took those pieces and wrapped it around the bun that I just created and pinned them down. So just take your time with this, and if it's teased, you can smooth out that teasiness with some hairspray and your comb. This yellow ribbon really brings the hairstyle to life. You can simply add a yellow ribbon from a craft store. This one came in my costume set, which I got from buycostumes.com. They literally have all the accessories and costume you need to inspire your Halloween look this year. I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you all so much for joining me as always. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.